Greetings and God bless you everybody. My name is Oscar and I'm with OQ Detailing. I'm a certified detailer and a skills validated detailer with the International Detailing Association as well. And today we have a 2010 Toyota Tundra that we're gonna perform a ceramic coating service on it. So one of the main questions that we get is, what is the benefit in applying a ceramic coating to your vehicle? And in this case, you're gonna be able to see the main reason why you should apply a ceramic coating although there are many benefits of a ceramic coating, is to prevent oxidation. Since this vehicle sits outside all the time throughout its lifetime, you're gonna be able to notice when we zoom in all the oxidation that has happened to the paint. The oxidation has caused the clear coat to become very dull. So the, the paint doesn't have much gloss or shine to it. So today we're gonna to restore it by first machine polishing, and then we're gonna apply the ceramic coating. So, the ceramic coating is gonna protect it from the sun. The sun is the most detrimental thing to all the exterior surfaces and even some exterior surfaces uh, if you leave it outside all the time. And the ceramic coating basically acts as a sacrificial layer of protection. So we're basically gonna apply it, it's gonna bond to the paint, it's gonna cure and harden, and it's gonna be able to uh, semi-permanently protect the paint for many years to come. So that's one of the reasons why you should apply a ceramic coat on your vehicle, especially if your vehicle sits outside and it's not garage kept. It really is for everybody, but especially in those situations. So we're gonna show you some shots and you're gonna be able to see the before and afters. Thank you so much. So before we do polishing, we want to take a paint depth reader and measure how much paint we have so that we know we're what we're working with, if some areas or panels have been uh, repainted or stuff like that. So basically we take a reading, um, a general reading. Here we have about 90 microns, you can see here, 91, 98. So we have to take a, the average, this one says 103. So by taking the average, 94, we're getting an idea, 102, 98. So basically what we wanna do is use professional discretion and understand how much paint we have outside and we're dealing with and how much paint we can pretty much polish. Because the number one purpose of a ceramic coating is to protect the clear coat. So we don't wanna shoot for perfection. We just wanna get the paint back to a very nice gloss and shine. There's still gonna be some uh, paint defects like some micro scratches and sore marks, um, but they are gonna be greatly reduced and the paint is gonna be restored so it's nice and glossy before we apply the ceramic coating. So we're not shooting for perfection because again, if you keep polishing, polishing to try to get a perfect paint, you're just taking off more and more clear coat, especially on a 13 year old vehicle. We don't wanna go too far, so we just wanna take a, a little bit off so that we can get a nice gloss and shiny paint and protect the clear coat. Okay, so we just finished polishing this side. We're gonna do a 50-50 uh, comparison. So as you can see here, if you zoom in, look at the difference, how the paint used to look, and right here from this point on. 
So as you can see, look at how nasty, chalky, oxidized it was. There was no gloss, it was very dull. Versus now, there's gloss. It's nice and very creamy white. Versus here, as you can see. So here we have another 50-50 of a side that we polished and then a side that hasn't been polished. And if you zoom in, you'll be able to tell the difference between the side that was polished and the side that was not polished. You can clearly see the difference in gloss, how this is nice and cl clean white versus this is like hazy, chalky white. Look at the chalkiness, haziness. That's oxidation mixed with grime. Okay, so here's another great angle to show you the sharp contrast. Look at, you see this line here? That's how it used to look. Super chalky, oxidized, dirty looking. And then, look at that. I turn on the light here so you can see. Again, that's how it used to look. And... That's how it's looking now. Thank you. 